Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Three Geeks Flicks. This is the tech here flying solo again and I've got a geek feed for you. Now there's been some more that's dropped from the Han Solo movie. Now if y'all remember the Han Solo movie had a bit of controversy with the directors. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller were first ones on board for it. Uh, there was apparently some problems with their vision for it and Lucasfilms and so when they split they hired Ron Howard. Well Ron has been dropping some cryptic pictures uh, these past few months and it looks like a uh, production is going on live and, uh, and well quite frankly. About three-fourths of the movie they said was already shot with uh, Miller and Lord and so it'll be interesting to see uh, how many things are redone, possibly by Ron Howard, how much of a feel it has for him. Uh, as you all remembered, uh, Lucasfilm and Howard have worked together before, or at least George Lucas on Willow. So he's no stranger to uh, the craft and kind of what is expected. But um, this last uh, picture that dropped uh, today that I know of uh, was that of a helmet. Uh, now it looks like possibly that's a detention block uh, panel and that is one of the detention guards or a um, imperial helmet to say the least of of whatever kind I mean they can be rebranded and redone this is a definitely that period in between three and four and I think I'm going to go on a stretch but I'm pretty sure this is not going to be simultaneous to Rogue One I have a feeling this is going to be a little before Rogue One somebody said oh you know is the Death Star there because it says the Empire looms big and I'm like nah, I, I have a feeling this is going to be a little before the Death Star um, makes its uh, grandiose uh, appearance because remember whenever Han saw it in 4 he didn't know what it was he wasn't sure what it was so you would think something like that would be um, uh, very noteworthy and not something that would have been held back or he would have mentioned even Han he's not that much of a scum but uh, looking back Ron has dropped some other ones like uh, there was one him looking at the monitors and you can see there's kind of like this I don't know it, it, very grand looking environment um, that nice clothing uh, somebody in a dress uh, that could possibly have been uh, was it Emily Clark well, we're not sure though uh, another one is it's um, it's kind of a dark kind of underworld look and that's one of the things that gets me side is m maybe we could see a little more of that underworld scene of Star Wars that's out there stuff away from the limelight of the Jedi and the Sith and the, and the whole uh, fight with the Empire and everything which I'm sure there's they're going to be in it I mean they just showed us one that they're gonna be in it but maybe they won't be the complete antagonist in this just maybe an interloper but it was kind of cool there's a, um, a live-action uh, uh, puppet um, like, you know feels very like Hanson like even with the gritty grainy view that you get whenever you zoom in on it um, another one Ron of course looking at the camera being shot um, you can see uh, on his monitor that's possibly Donald Glover as uh, Lando what looks to be possibly in the Millennium Falcon I mean it was his first so maybe this is the story of how Han got the Falcon that would be kinda cool um, another one uh, that's kinda cool how they use the practical effects and then the light speed um, is being projected onto that screen and it, it'll be interesting to see what what that shot is but I kinda like how they they did that and kinda showed that sneak peek and then another one of uh, a droid of some kind uh, working a control panel um, so they've been cryptic they've been kinda half shots of everything teases I like that I enjoy the fact that we're not getting the full uh, experience too far ahead of time uh, Howard is a master at the tease and a slow burn uh, so I, I feel like this movie's going to be on track. I think Ron is going to put out something um, that we're all going to enjoy. Um, Lord and Miller's vision, I'm not sure exactly what it was from what I read. I really didn't want it to be real funny and campy, so hopefully um, Howard can kind of mix the two of the serious and the lighthearted, which Star Wars has been able to do before, especially uh, Rogue One being not extremely dark, but being, you know, a little darker, a little more serious than some of the other movies. So let us know what you think. You know, give us a holler out there if you think that uh, 
Lord Miller should have been able to complete this, or does it look like that Howard giving us all these teases is on track? So, other than that, check us out on Facebook, Three Geeks Flicks. Give us a like, comment, holler, troll us. You don't do Facebook? We've got Twitter. It's at the number Three Geeks Flicks. Flicks is, of course, spelled F L I X. So, give us a follow there, give us a holler there, troll there, get involved. You are the third geek. Get on YouTube, give us a subscribe a like, some comments. Let us know you're out there, folks. Get involved. We really want you to be part of the show. We'd enjoy having you on once we get to know you. If you've got something to say, we want to hear it. Uh, if you'd like to go on camera and talk about something, we'd love to have you on. Um, this is totally about what we think as regular, everyday geeks and the movies we love and the cinema verse as it is in itself. So... Without getting any more grandiose, and I've kind of run out of adjectives and things to describe it. I say go away, boy, you Appreciate y'all sticking around, and stay tuned to the glow of those monitors, because we're going to catch you next time. Good night.